Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back for another review. I'm actually going to do a full on routine this time. I've had these products for a while and I wasn't like super excited about them. So it's taken me a long time to film with them. The products I'm talking about are the Eden Body Works Hibiscus Honey collection. So they have a hydration custard. There is a curl hydration conditioner. And you can see I have used this. And then there's also a hair tonic liquid vitamin. Now I meant to film a haul with some of this stuff and I just didn't. <laughs> I've used a conditioner once. I used it as an actual rinse out conditioner. And you can see how much I went through it. This is fresh from one use of this conditioner and I just use way too much of it to use it as a rinse out conditioner. Now I will say this is a bomb conditioner. If you are looking for just something new to try, this is amazing, but I stick with cheap conditioners because I use a lot of conditioner. My hair soaks up a lot of product. So um, I've decided to see how this will work as a leave-in conditioner. Now it has been really hot and humid where I am, so this could be a really bad idea, but we gonna find out. <laughs> So if you're interested in seeing my first impressions and results with the Eden Body Works Hibiscus Honey Curl Hydration line, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so I am working on freshly co-washed and deep conditioned hair. Um, I use the She Sent It Royal Honey Hair Mask and that should already be up. So just an FYI. <laughs> you can see my hair's dried out a little bit so this doesn't look as good as it did when I first um, went on and showed my results but I will post my results from that and the eye cards up above I'm gonna go ahead and take this hibiscus honey hair tonic liquid vitamin this just says that it transforms dry br brittle dull lifeless hair high potency concentration of nutrients to make hair more manageable and healthy looking. Now I was reading this, I need to look up some of the names of these things, but I don't really see anything that indicates that it's like worthy of being called a vitamin. So we'll see, but it does smell good. I use this to kind of like just spritz on my hair um, when I do pineapples, so. That's done really well, just to add a little bit of extra bounce to my hair. So, I've got that applied. I mean, it looks good, but my hair looked great just on its own anyway. I don't know if this is going to be a super special product for me. I think that's just going to be what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and with the Curl Hydration Conditioner. I go so I can breathe again. And I'm sure y'all can see like how this is melting into my curls and giving me tons of shine. So you can see why I said like, um, this is an awesome conditioner. It, I mean, look at that. That looks amazing already. Um, I was really impressed when I put this in my hair in the shower, um, but I felt like I had to use too much of it in one sitting, so. I'm definitely a fan of this conditioner. Um, if this works out as a leave-in, I will repurchase it. I can just tell y'all that off the bat. Um, if they put it in a bigger bottle, I would buy this as a conditioner. This is also one, the lightest conditioner that I have tried from um, Eden Body Works. So if you're looking for something that isn't that typical, like super thick consistency, that they always have, then this is a good option. This one isn't crazy thick at all. Kind of has a consistency of a hair milk almost. A tad bit lighter than most hair milks. And it just runs through my curls beautifully. So like you can see, I definitely got more shine from this than I did the hair tonic. 
and this um this line does smell really good the first time I bought it it didn't smell that great to me but I think it was because I was on my period um, I can get very sensitive to scents when I'm on my period so that might sound weird to people but if you're like that you understand okay I mean this is just this is a good wash day guys I just finished filming prior to this so I'm just really happy with my hair I'm hoping that this holds up the weather's been strange it's been really hot and really humid so we'll see how this goes if the hydration custard has a decent amount of hold on it I know I'll at least get two days but I'm not going into this looking to get a lot of days out of my wash and go I just want to see what the product is gonna give me so I'm not gonna be super disappointed if it doesn't work out <laughs> so I'm going to twist up this section like usual and I'm gonna speed you guys through the other two sections Okay guys, so right off the bat, I don't like this hair tonic on my naked hair. Um, when I sprayed it in my hair, it kind of gave my hands and my hair like this squeaky feeling and it took away like the buttery, like super moisturized feeling that my hair had um, after my deep conditioner. So I don't really like that. I think that if I continue using this, it will be to refresh my puffs um, and my updos. I, I think that's the only thing that I would use this for, but I won't speak too soon on it. But so far, I it's okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the styling product. This is the Curl Hydration Custard. That's what she looks like. Super thick. Definitely gonna be a rich product. Um, I was intrigued when I saw this because at first I thought it was going to be like all those custardy, like snotty gels that you usually see, like Camille Rose, Kinky Curly. But no, this is a thick cream. Now I absolutely love the curl defining cream. This is the curl defining cream from Eden Body Works. I love this. It is an amazing styler for wash and goes. And it seems to be 
comparable in thickness with the custard. So we shall see. I'm gonna add a tad bit more water, but not a lot. Just enough to get some extra slip. When I'm styling with creams, for me being someone that has super fine hair, I don't like to have my hair very saturated with water. That's because if my hair is too saturated, then it will take eons to dry. Um, so I just kind of went into the product and it has this really nice like whipped feeling. That's what the product looks like. Super whipped. <laughs> I'm not gonna use too much. Just gonna go in with this. Yeah, it has a really nice whipped texture. And I will say, the products, the smell of these products is better when it's applied to the hair than it is just in the jar. It smells good in the jar, but like there's something about when it's in your hair. It smells amazing when it's in your hair. Now I do think just judging by the texture of this, I think you could get away with just one product washing going it and going about your day. So if you're someone that likes to do that, this has such a nice feel to it. I'm not shocked because I'm one of those people that knows that Eden Body Works has really great products. So I'm never shocked when I find a quality gem from Eden. They are really just great. Jasmine Lawrence, she is a master mixtress when it comes to bringing black owned hair care at a more affordable price. So that's what I'm working with with this. This looks really good. Um, right now, this is definitely different from the Curl Defining Cream in that it is more whipped. So even though this is very thick um, in consistency, upon application, it doesn't feel so thick. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, doesn't feel like it's gonna weigh down my curls. You can see I have a lot of spring back. Spring back. Um, lots of poppage. Lots of shine. Ooh. Okay. I see you, Eden. Looks so good already. Okay. And this seems like it's going to be a really good cream for my folks like myself that have finer textures. I think this will work um, if you have a coarse texture as well. Um, if you have really, really thick hair. I can see this working great on like set styles for you. Um, probably not for a wash and go, but I feel like this might end up being the ideal style cream styler for someone with fine hair that wants to do a no gel wash and go. Like controller, controller. This is my first section. She's looking good. Looks really nice. Also be mindful that this does have keratin in it, so if you're protein sensitive. Um, I think the conditioner has keratin. I don't believe the custard does, so. Um, if you're protein sensitive, leaving this conditioner in may not be the best idea for you. So I'm gonna go ahead, work on the rest of my hair. Just applying the hydration custard the same way I would any other product. And then I will come back to you guys.
talk to you about my wet results and then when my hair is dry I will come back and we will discuss my final thoughts so here's how much I used so not that much I can definitely get a cup quite a few more uses out of this not a couple okay so here's my hair from the front my hair is already starting to dry so I'm thinking that's gonna be a good thing it does look like I have some frizz um so yeah you can't completely tell on camera but you can see I have pieces that are already frizzing up. Now I will just say I noticed some tugging and pulling when I was applying the products to my hair. Um, and I have the sneaking suspicion that the issue I'm having is this. So I'm going to do a little bit of research, see if maybe there's a, there's a certain ingredient in here that my hair might not like. So we're going to see, but I may end up having to... Um, wash this out and restyle we'll see i don't know i have tons of shine um and tons of definition already but i also see a lot of halo frizz i'll come back tomorrow when this is dry and we'll discuss my final results but right now i'm not super hopeful <laughs> all right guys so it is the next day um i apologize if you hear mowing outside they have been mowing the same damn spot in front of my apartment since I left three hours ago. So, um, there shouldn't be any grass left at this point, but who knows. <laughs> um, so these are my final results and I'm not really happy with it. Um, I really don't like it at all. So, I just from what I can see in the camera, it is very deceiving. Um, it looks very shiny on camera and it looks insanely defined on camera. Now I will say like these pieces in here, these are the best part of the wash and go. This part looks great. Um, it's set properly. So I have like a little bit of a cast, but it feels super moisturized. These pieces in here and like underneath here are super duper soft. Um, the problem is like this side, which you guys know, this these are my most defined curls. They're super frizzy. They don't have a lot of shine. Um, I do have like some, like some pieces like at the ends that took to the product properly. Um, and then let me show you the back of my hair real quick. As far as the back of my hair goes, it's puffy. Um, it's frizzy. I have like a halo of frizz on my hair. It feels really weird. It feels kind of, um, I don't know. It just feels almost kind of like not dry. Um, as far as moisture goes, my hair is definitely, definitely moisturized. I can't complain about that. I did notice when I was drying my hair that I did have some sections where the product didn't sink in so I had some white flakes on my hair um, but those did from what I could tell go away for the most part when I um, scrunched my hair so let me go product by product so I can give you an actual feeling of how I feel about this because like you can see here if my hair looked like these curls all the way around this would definitely be a yay but that is not the case so let's go ahead and get into the products um, I'm going to start with this, the hair tonic. Um, this claims to be a tonic that transforms dry, brittle, dull, lifeless hair. Um, it's supposed to have a high concentration of nutrients to make hair more manageable and healthy looking. Um, and it just says to use a light spritz on hair daily. This doesn't, this doesn't say to use it as something that is underneath. Um, the product but to me if you're going to market this as a liquid vitamin I feel like I should be able to spray this on naked hair because 
th this is how I apply products. I like to go lightest to thickest. So to me, this is the lightest product. And even though, yes, I do use this to refresh my puffs and my ponytails, um, to me, it would just be common sense that I would be able to use this on wet hair with no problem. And that was not the case. When I put this on my wet hair, I got like this squeaky feeling on my hands. I got this squeaky feeling in my hair. It took away the awesome buttery soft feeling that I had from the deep conditioner that I applied. And I really think this is the biggest culprit in why this wash and go was a fail. I can tell the places where I didn't get as much of this on it because they are actually defined. They feel completely different from the areas of my hair where I really did like saturate this. Like I put a lot of this in the back um, and this, it feels completely different. It feels like I use completely different products in my hair. Um, these pieces feel very soft to the touch. They don't feel oily or coated. They have an awesome shine. Um, I have silky curls here, but in the places where I applied a lot of this, like here and in the back, um, you can just tell like they're frizzy. I will insert some pictures of how the products sound my hands. Could I wait? I made plans with you. And I won't let them fall through. I think I lie for you. I think I die for you. And um I'm definitely going to try this again um, in a different combination. But I really do feel like this was the biggest culprit. Because it was like once I applied this to my hair, I noticed that I was getting t I was getting tangles and my hair had already been thoroughly detangled. I didn't have any tangles in my hair before I applied this. Um, I was getting tangles. It was more difficult to maneuver through my hair and I had to keep applying the conditioner and the custard to keep getting slips so that I could actually, you know, make sure that my curls were defined and in place. So... I would not suggest that you buy this unless you're the type of person that does a lot of like updos and puffs and you like to have something to refresh your hair. I'll tell you right now, I have better curl refreshers in my collection. I have too many products to just like go back to this for a curl refresher. Um, so this definitely, I wouldn't suggest it. It definitely did dry my naked hair out. Um, and I think the only reason I'm not having issues with this as a refresher is because I already have moisturizing products in my hair. So yeah, I, I wouldn't say go out and buy this. I think this is definitely a product that you can skip in this I'm Moving on to the Curl Hydration Conditioner. Um, this claims to instantly work to strengthen, detangle, and protect strands. This enhances natural softness, boosts curls, and tames frizz. Um, I absolutely love this conditioner. This is great as a rinse out. If you don't have as much hair as me, then purchasing this as a rinse out conditioner on its own would probably be very economical for you and you know you wouldn't have an issue. This to me is also an amazing leave-in. Um, the slip on this is outstanding. This is definitely um, my favorite rinse out conditioner from Eden Body Works. And I think that this is also a great leave-in. Um, and I really want to see how this is going to perform away from that hair tonic. The last product that I have from the collection, um, the Hydration Custard. This claims to um, be designed for, thick, for thicker textures, wavy, curly, kinky. To lock in moisture, it's supposed to give definition and add shine. I think this product is great and I'm upset because I feel like I'm not getting the full potential out of this product. Um, the texture of this is divine. It is, it, it feels like putting whipped cream on your hair. That's what this feels like. It smells amazing. I didn't have to use a lot for my wash and go. So yeah, I mentioned that like there are a lot of places in my hair that feel gross and sticky. Yes, this does say that it's for thick hair, but I didn't use a lot of this product. I have a lot of hair. My hair soaks up a lot of product. I probably could have used less product, honestly, if I didn't have those issues with the slip after applying the hair tonic. I just, I can see what it could have been, and that's what I'm upset about. I can see what this wash and go could have been, and that's why I will say I do also think that this is a good product to try. I think if you're one of those people that loves to do um, braid outs and twist outs, this will be a really, really, really good option for you because... 
in the realm of like heavy creamy products I feel like this is a light cream um, once you apply it to the hair um, even when you work it into your hands it just kind of melts into your hands and you can feel the slip immediately as it goes onto your hair this product feels amazing and I can see the potential that's there I so wish that all of my hair looked like this um, this is what I expect from a good um, gel free wash and go I expect these kind of results not this stuff um, once I really got away from the camera and I started looking at my hair in the mirror I was like oh this is not gonna be good and sometimes I'm wrong sometimes I'm looking at my hair while it's drying and I'm like oh it's not gonna look good but then once it dries I'm like oh I was wrong the, the product settled um, I could just kind of see how a lot of the product was just repelling from my hair. It was beating up on top of my hair. I had a lot of beads of product around my head. I mean, it wasn't like it was congealing. It was just, it wasn't being allowed to soak into my hair. And I really do accredit it to this. Um, I think this is something that you should really stay away from while you are putting these products on your hair. If not, I feel like it's going to dry your hair out. Um, so yeah, if we're gonna just do a little rundown on this line all together, this is a no. Um, I'm not the type of person to just be like, don't get this, but I, I hype Eden Body Works all the time, so, um, there are gonna be products in the line that I don't like. This is definitely one product from Eden Body Works that I just genuinely do not like. Um, if you're gonna try anything, the Curl Hydration Conditioner is def definitely a stunner in the line. This is an amazing product. They hit it out the park with this. This is definitely great. Feels great as a leave-in. I can't wait to see what other things I can pair it with. And definitely the Hydration Custard. This is a really nice product. It feels amazing in the hair. It's buttery soft. Um, it's not too oily and emollient um, for my hair type. I, it definitely... Like I said, I can definitely see its potential and I can see what it should be doing. Um, if you guys want me to come back and do a redo on this video, or you would like to see maybe just this on its own, um, let me know and I will definitely come back and film that so I can give you guys a little bit more information on how I really do feel about this because it's hard to tell when you know something just really just screwed up your wash and go. Um, of course, this will probably be a better routine for the colder months, but these products didn't come out during the colder months, so um, we got to work with what we got. And it's not super humid out today, actually, so I can't blame the humidity on what I have going on here either. So, um, yeah, two out of three are a go. One is definitely a do not touch it. I know there are people that really do enjoy that hair tonic and if you are one of them that is great but there is just something in there that my hair does not like and honestly I wasn't buying into the hype of a topical liquid vitamin anyway. So yeah um that is my review for the hibiscus honey line. I wish that it were more positive but that's okay Everything will not work for everybody. I tell you guys that all the time and there are going to be products that I don't like even though I know I come on here and I, I rave about a lot of things. But yeah, this one was just not completely a go for me. I'll definitely be continuing to use the conditioner and I will continue to work with the Curl Hydration Custard and I'm probably going to do a um, just like a favorites video soon just with my current favorite products. And I will definitely update you guys on this baby and I'll let you know if, you know, I'm, I still feel like this is a really good product. Because from what I can tell, it is a good product. It just wasn't allowed to shine. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoy all the reviews. There's going to be a lot of reviews coming. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love for you to join the fam. Um, and leave me a comment down below. Have you tried this line from Eden Body Works? Um, are you interested in trying it or does this video kind of have you like, eh, I might wait. Either way, um, they're inexpensive. All these are $8.99. Um, they are exclusive to Walmart as well as the Eden Body Works website. And you know Eden Body Works is having sales all the time. So, um, if you're wary of this, wait until they have like a $5 sale or something. But yeah, 
um that's it for this video i have a lot more coming up and i will see you in the next one bye